column multiplication. So what you'll notice with these kinds of problem is you'll have a matrix and another matrix. And, you know, this might be a one by three because it has one row and three columns. And you'll notice that the column would be a something times one. This one would be a three by one. So essentially what I have is I have a row vector multiplying by a column vector. And then I'm supposed to get something over here. So with these kinds of problems, we're taking a row matrix and we're multiplying it by a column matrix. And we're going to get a matrix in return. It just might not be what you think it's going to be. Okay. So the way you do this is, what you want to do is you want to circle the first two components. So I'm going to circle the A right here, and I'm going to circle the D over here. And we're going to multiply those together. And A times D, that's going to give me AD. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to circle the second components. And I'll use blue for this. I'm going to circle the second component, B and E. So when I add those up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply those as well, and I'm going to get B times E. Notice how we're multiplying. And then the last thing we're going to add up is the third components. So I'm going to change color to yellow, and I'm going to circle the third component. And we multiply these third components, the C and the F, to get CF. And then we're done. Now, since I have a matrix for my answer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up the brackets. And then I'd be done. So whenever you multiply a matrix by a matrix, what you also want to look for is you want to make sure that the dimensions match up. And by dimensions matching up, what I'm talking about is you want the inside numbers to match up. So notice this is a 1 by 3, and this is a 3 by 1, and I'm going to circle the inside numbers. Here are the inside numbers. Those should always match up. And then once they match up, the result of your problem, it's going to have the dimensions of the outside numbers. So I've got this one on the outside and this one on the outside. So this matrix is going to be a one by one. Okay, so now let's move on to the next problem. What I'm going to do with this row and this column is I'm going to list out the dimensions, the dimensions of this matrix. It has one row, but it has three columns. So this is going to be a one by three. Over here, this is a column matrix. I know it's going to have three rows, but one column, so this is going to be a three by one. Notice that the inside numbers match up. So now we can multiply this row by this column to get a one by one matrix. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to circle my first components, my one and my four. If I multiply 1 by 4, I'm going to get 1 times 4 equals 4. But I'll just keep it as 1 times 4 for now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to circle the second component in blue. So I'm going to circle the 2 and the 5. So we're going to multiply these to get 2 times 5. And then the third component, I'm going to circle in yellow, the 3 and the 6. If I multiply those, I'm going to get 3 times 6. So I'm going to write 3 times 6. Okay, so simplifying a little bit, we know that 1 times 4 is 4. We know that 2 times 5 is going to be 10, so I'm going to add 10. And then 3 times 6 is going to give me 18. So we're going to have plus 18. And now I can add all these numbers up. And when I add them up, the 4 plus 18 is going to give me 22. And then 22 plus 10 is going to give me 32. So my answer is going to be a 32 in brackets. So this is my one by one matrix. This is my one by one. Notice it has one row and one column. Okay, 
So now I have one more problem that I want to do with you. And we're going to be multiplying a row by a column. This is a 1 by 2 because it has one row and two columns. And this is a 2 by 1 because it has two rows but one column. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to multiply them. The inside numbers match up, so my answer is going to be a 1 by 1. No, my answer is going to be a 1 by 1. So now when I multiply these matrices, I'm going to have 3 times 2, 3 times 2, plus negative 5 times 0, negative 5 times 0. So the 3 times 2 is going to give me 6, negative 5 times 0 is going to give me 0, and then 6 plus 0 is going to give me 6. And that'll be my answer, my 1 by 1 matrix. So multiplying a row by a column, it gets easier once you learn how to do it and you do more practice problems. Uh, what I've noticed, though, is that sometimes you have the column coming first. So for this one at the bottom, I have the column by the row. And what this does is, because this is a 3 by 1 and this is a 1 by 3, the inside numbers, the 1s are going to match up. The 1s are going to match up. That's great. That means I can multiply these. But the result is going to be a 3 by 3. So I'm going to have a matrix in the end with three rows and three columns. And this is a little bit different from row by column. This is column by row. But you can see the difference between the one on the top and the one on the bottom. The answers are completely different in terms of dimensions. So I hope that helps row by column.